Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and welcome to Observation on the PC. Observation is a game made by the people who made Stories Untold, which if you did not see your play was kind of like an experimental story-based game. There was some text-based adventure stuff and some horror elements, and I'm interested to see how this is going to go because this is a game about an AI on a space station. And if we're gonna be honest, there are a lot of stories with AIs on space stations going rogue. So I... I wonder if they're gonna go in that direction or if we're just gonna be a normal AI and just be chilling and helping out people. I'm not sure. This main menu is already like, it's got this old school feeling kind of aesthetic. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got like noise going on all over the place and this ambience is a bit spooky. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna go. So we're gonna go ahead and launch this up. Now I did get an early access code disclaimer there, but I was going to check out the game anyway. So let's go ahead and get into this. I am not going to adjust the gamma. I just I just don't mess with it. Anytime I do, people are like, Gum, it's too dark. Gum, it's too bright. So I just leave it alone. Space Station, observation, 410 kilometers above Earth. Do we, do we call it the observation space station or do we just call it legit observation? I think I'm Sam. Oh, I'm the AI. Oh, come on. Okay, Sam. I need you to give me admin access. Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fishman, 10412. Analyze? You want me to, like, actually analyze this myself? Analyze waveform. Mm, yes, yes, you are indeed. Emma Fisher, one, two, three, four, five, seven, zero, five, that's not the numbers. Okay. We can reject her voice print errors detected. I believe that she's Emma Fisher, except. Great, thanks, Sam. That's good. Come on, give me something. Sam, are you there? Respond. Crew request, are you there? Online status. Systems administration and maintenance online. Hold R to enter response mode. Okay. All right. We're. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna be a good AI. Maybe. Uh. Oh. We we choose things to respond with like this. Gotcha. I am here. Oh. God. Thank God. Okay. 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 Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Sam, you seem to have booted up in Module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in Module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? 
Oh, and pressure diagnostics on module 9. You've got it, lady. Alright, so I guess, well first... I guess we'll just click this. Make sure that we're actually getting the data on what she asked for. Pressure safe, power low, whole context true, systems connected. She's good to go into Hall 9. What's going on in 11? Things are still okay over there. What about, uh, number 10? We gotta make sure to tell her if there's any place that's bad. Ooh. 10 is false. 10 has false hull contacts, but the pressure's safe, so, uh... It could be slightly okay. What about this one? I wanna see something just completely destroyed. Nope, nope, this one's fine too. Alright. So we will say that... It's Module safe. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Oh, adjacent contact points. Um... They- they seem to be, at least from- from here. Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Yeah, I already know which one it is. 10 is fucked up. Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false. Suggesting that module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! <sighs> Well, I don't know what you want me to do about it. Oh god, my controller vibrated. Let me get rid of that. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard there. Sam, you still there? Things are going going wrong. What are we doing here? There's so many different We're getting like coordinates on, on, on the screen or something. Sam, what is that? Bring her. Bring her. Bring her. What? Wh fine, fine. I'll bring her. As long as you give me back control. So we just saw shots of like an alien planet or like Mars or some shit. I think this lady's totally screwed. <laughs> We've been hijacked, potentially, by... by other forces. I can't do anything. I think we're just waiting for her to wake the hell up. Come on, lady! What just happened? I... Oh, I think I blacked out. Sam, run your self-diagnostic procedure. And what errors are you showing? Oh, well, alright, fine. I'll run my diagnostics. I don't know if I'll be able to tell you everything, though, or if, even if I should tell her. Okay. We've got a lot of error. Relocation network error. Oh, we're, we're just diagnosing these things right now. Run network check. Module relocation network is not operational. Well, that sucks. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Cool, 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 cool. Now I'll let you know how my memory core is doing. And that's probably gonna be really messed up. I'm holding W, wow. 95% degradation? Oh, shit. This is bad. If I was an AI and I looked at my memory degradation and all that showed up, I'd be like, oh, shit. Uh, I don't know what to do about this. 97%. 
Degradation. It's awful. The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. What if my old self is what caused this whole mess, though, lady? What's going on here? Tempting connection. Nope, doesn't work. Everything's gonna be broken. Oh, the location sensor race fine. And the tracker power status is okay. Okay, everything is okay except for the, the connection network. between crew tracker functionality and Sam OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from module 9. Okay. We're heading on with none. Auto routing you. I'm wondering where we get more manual control because I'm just kind of getting thrown around everywhere by her. Should be online now. Cool. Got a test. I like to look around with WSD. Okay. Nice, nice. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Q and E to cycle between module cameras. You got it. Ooh. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. Cool. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Well, your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. What do we got? Sam OS procedure. I want to look around the rest of this room, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll at least get this started for her. System link reset. Sam OS procedure, system link reset, shows terminal input code that allows a crew, crew member to reset Sam's system link functionality in the event of a software failure. Warning, this procedure will require a reconnection to all system links station-wide. Only perform after a full reset. Oh boy. How do I get, how do I, I press escape. Wait, nope, that didn't work. I'm pressing X to go back. That doesn't work. Q E W. I had to hit actual okay. back on my keyboard. Got you. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Alright. WSD to recover system links. So we're just... We're gonna pan around. We're gonna see what we've got. Add system link. One, three, three. Oh, I actually have to type that Good. in myself. Looks like that's working. Add another. Do I do the same one? Oh my. Spheres. Best practice. Available. Select. Guidance. Best practice. Development and control of microgravity guidance spheres on observation is overseen by Dr. Emma Fisher. Operation interface for guidance spheres can be found through graphical user interface that can be located at crew member workstations and is a planned upgrade to the existing SAM system during the observation mission. Guidance spheres are propelled by short, harmless emissions of CO2 and allow the user to input and repair both internal and external ship apparatus. Microgravity guidance spheres are still at the experimental stage. Oh, I can, like, fly myself around in this kind of thing eventually? That will be nice. Okay. Well, we'll leave that be for now. There's an offline sphere. Can't do anything about that. Uh, let's swap cameras, because maybe if I'm at a different perspective, I can connect to this. No. Not yet. Not yet. What else are we looking for here? Aha! Okay. Now add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. Yeah, don't worry. I was already on it. Now that I understand what these look like... Okay, it looks I'll like be automating myself in every single position. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. Oh. Uh, you got it. Hold on. <laughs> Do I have to be looking at the door to open it? 
Open hatch. Yeah. That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Okay. Let's get this up and running. This lady is so screwed, by the way. Like, if I have to do anything legitimately Josh, super technical, she's dead. I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh. If you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Oh, so it's not completely broken? Where has everyone gone? Maybe they're dead. Or they've been abducted. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, station alert, station alert. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. I don't know what that means. Enter the Sam OS anytime by pressing spacebar? You can now relocate Whoa. to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. Alright, let's try Helix. Nope, nothing here. But okay, now we're getting some real serious levels of control. Four? Uh-oh. Uh, fire! There is a fire out of control in EAS-4. Shit, I'm on my way! You are? Is she actually gonna, like, leave? Oh, I see her, I see her! This is great! This is awesome! I can kinda just be dicking around around this space station while she just does her thing. I can be a legit AI and not just, like, snap from point to point. I mean, we're snapping the point to point in terms of cameras and looking all over the place, but in terms of, like, cutscenes and chronological progression, she isn't just gonna suddenly show up there, she actually has to travel to that position, at least until, like, I don't know, maybe she blacks out or something. It's just a nice little... ...attention to detail that I can appreciate. Now, do you want me to do anything, lady? Cuz... I could always, I don't know, maybe there's a... Maybe there's an automated... Fire suppression Sam, system. The hatch in EAS 6 is locked down. Can you get it open for me? Yeah, don't worry, I'm ready. I'm watching your every movement, lady. Now, what's the schematic thing about? Oh. Okay, I guess that's not something we can do right now. It's open. I'm on my way. Relocate to EAS 3. I'll need your help when I get there. You got it, ES3. What do you need from me, lady? Is there a fire suppression system? Do you have do you need access to a fire extinguisher? She already has a fire extinguisher. Alright, you're you're on your own for that then. Oh, oh good warmer. The EAS full hatch controls to your system links, but wait for my signal. Okay. <laughs> let me let me do that. Fighting fires. Hold details. Possess sphere if available. System links. Woo. Okay. All right. All right. All right. There's a lot to to kind of figure out. Please repeat your previous request. Add the EAS full hatch controls to your system links, but wait for my signal. Alright, viewers, I'll be honest. Okay, <laughs> it's not letting me do things. I'm like spamming all the different buttons trying to get myself to be able to move so I can help this lady out, and uh, my systems just weren't having it. So, where's the hatch controls? Actually, I guess he wants me to go inside of 4 directly, not look at it from 3. Gotcha. Is this it? Nice. Fire 
Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. All right. Are you ready? One. Two. Three. That's it. Come on! Oh, she's not going to go into that. That's smart. I thought she was going to actually, like, float herself into the into the pod Sam. and try to direct things a little bit more. Get the vents on in here. Clear these fumes. Well, that worked out perfectly. Okay. Damage report. Vent fumes in EAS-4. Got it. Where's the actual vent control? So the problem is these cameras actually have to, like, physically turn around. That's gonna mess with me. <laughs> Environment sensor? That doesn't do it. Right, let me turn myself around. There's gotta be a, a vent somewhere on, like, the roof or something. <laughs> Emma, I am afraid to report that I have no memory at all as to where a vent is located. So instead, I might just close the door and tell you to hold your breath. And that will help you with all of this situation. Please repeat your previous instruction. Well, I don't want to move inside. Vent the fumes first, Sam. Ah, she said something different this time. Nice, here we go. It's on the ground. Or at least from our perspective, is on the ground. But it's space, so... Uh, it's just... It's just a side. That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? Damage report. Report damage in ES4. Okay. Well... That doesn't look good at all. The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad. Considering. What about medical storage? What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Oh, I mean, I, I was about to give you even more reports, but it's probably this panel thing right here. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Oh, something is coming out of the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Dark red. There is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Yeah. Crew request, status report. Severe stress warning, ES-12. You got it. There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. I also hope that wasn't alien goop and she's gonna die because she just touched something she didn't know in space. Okay, look, there's, there's a level Please. of control that needs to be had. If there is anyone in module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. All right, how the hell do I do this? One, four, four, two, four, one, three, three, two, four. What? One. Oh God, this is dumb. Sam, come on! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know how this works. One four four. One four four. Two four one. Two four. Authorization. One four four. Two four one. 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 Sam, hurry, Sam. Target the 
jets and push the module away safely. Press mouse button to begin detachment sequencing. You got it. Sam, target the jets in the correct sequence. I'm fucking sorry. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, this is a lot easier. Yeah, so if I had just been able to press numbers to do that, it would have been fine, but the fact that I had to Signal press to WASD to put in numbers is annoying. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? I'm looking around. I can't ask her to repeat right now. <laughs> okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I'm not seeing any... Big pieces of damage here. We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. Oh, because she's looking through my camera right now. She can just. Alright, I'm just gonna go through the different cameras then. <laughs> I thought she wanted me to legitimately, like, look around and point out, be like, it was over there! I wonder if there's any subtle secret thing going on in this section like oh if you look at the right place at the right timing you'll see something spooky the ru arm upper modules are badly damaged the damage seems to be localized to the upper part of the arms i'm expecting aliens okay i'm expecting something Aliens, but it could just be sabotage. It could just be or people fucking up Maybe everybody died in like some series of Like bursts of paranoia someone was doing something suspicious looking someone tried to call him out and then they ended up fighting and then while Emma was Doing whatever it was she was doing when everything went down everybody died Okay, I just saw One here we go the CN arm is badly damaged. Oh god, May. It looks intact, though. Yeah, I'm not sure what this place is originally supposed to look like, so I'm just gonna work with whatever prompts we pop up. Fire damage detected. There is minor exterior damage to module EAS-4, likely due to the internal fire. Yeah, I think we got lucky there. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth, and if we've lost any altitude. I want to just have the distance cam not show anything. What the fuck?! That's... That's not Earth! How did we get here? Of course, Sat Saturn! Uh... Oh boy. Can I- I would just like read off the coordinates here. I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? Black box entry 441. Signal accepted. Message received. Coordinates set. Oh god. Oh god, I'm being taken over again. Bring her. I don't know. <laughs> Lady, you're so screwed. We were hijacked by aliens. Okay, that's what's going on. Aliens, for sure. Oh god, they're doing an intro sequence now like, Oh god. I don't know. Now we're gonna start the real portion of the game. Alright, at least now I know how to input the code, so the next time she needs something from me. I should get it on the third try. Otherwise, she might die. I'm wondering how many different, like, potential paths there are. But what matters is what we're gonna try to accomplish. As the worlds 
shittiest OS. But since we're orbiting Saturn, technically we're the world's best OS. There's no other AI here, or that's false. Aliens? Let's be honest here. There could be some crazy things going on down there. Someone wanted to have a lot of fun with this. <laughs> they just really wanted to be like, what's the best way we can make our game even more movie-like? Big ol' intro with, like, weird shit going on. Put it under critical an analysis. Here's us showing cell division. And it connects to the story in this way. Well, I'm... I'm not too sure, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm gonna let that pass by. But it was a neat intro sequence. Meanwhile, at Saturn. I restarted your core systems. You weren't making any sense. And to be quite honest, I'm fucking terrified right now. <laughs> and anyway, without you, I'm not going anywhere, so... Welcome back. <laughs> okay, first off... Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher... One four zero four one two. I should just deny her here, but that'd be mean. I'm not trying to be uh, that kind of AI. Voice print match confirmed. Reject. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, Sam, here's the deal. I'm stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down, so... I'm gonna try something different here. Yeah, you could put me one of the gravity balls. That might be more annoying than being in the okay. cameras, honestly. That's audio, at least. Almost there. Just a sec. Shit, that's not it. There we go. Okay, Sam. I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. Sweet! That'd be it'll so let terrifying you reach to look at. Of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non station devices, like laptops. Ooh! There. Looking good, Sam. Okay. Let's see if you can move it. Am I fucking Over. blinking? What is going on here? Why? <laughs> okay. W to move the sphere forward. Yeah, I I could I could probably figure out the controls. A D to like rotate myself, use the mouse to do whatever. Great. Now turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. Okay, yep, yep. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Systems. Acknowledge. Something isn't right. Hang on. Up. Oh. Is it because I bumped the wall? No, it's probably just because they won't <laughs> teach me more of the controls. Come back! Don't leave me! I'll be so lonely on this space station. Try again? Is it because I crashed into the wall? <laughs> okay. This time I will fly over there. I'm amused at how fast we actually go with this when we're actually given permission to fly. You, like, this isn't crazy fast, but it's definitely faster than Good. looking around from the Good. other cameras. There are more controls for translation and rotation, but I'll let you figure them out. Got it. You should still be able to identify objects and relay information to me like any other camera. Try it now. Hold R to enter response mode. Mm, what could I look at to respond to? 
The response mode is weird because sometimes I just want to say CO2 things. CO2 refill station is online. Okay, great. That works. Now, you can release yourself from the sphere and return to your main OS just like before. Cool. Sphere tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. To reconnect to your sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Reconnect to your sphere now. All right, we'll just hit the big button here. Oh, look, we have a camera that shows up at the bottom there. Oh, we should we we we, we have a whole bunch of cameras that will show up sometimes if it will let us. Oh, they, these different modules have different names. We have Enlighten, Hope, Asian, Solo, ECC, Deckrow, Helix, Have One, Epic. I want to see what's going on in Epic. Anyways, connection sphere. What's up? Great. I can't believe that all actually worked. Right. So, the rest of the station is dark, and the horizon arm is running on emergency power. The solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board, the EFR. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. See what you can do. I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew. All right, so we gotta get the reactor online. You got it. Access EAS-1. And that's not happening through... That's not gonna happen through the sphere, right? Storage bag. It's just gonna float around. I wonder how many things I'll just be able to crash into. So, we have to go to EAS-1 to access the experimental reactor. There's probably something in here for us to look at, but I'm, I'm going back to the connection sphere. Uh, hello! Emma, I am here to check out every piece of device. What would you like me to do? Get to the EFR. I think it's in EAS-1, but it might be locked down. Got you. Well, I want to see what I can, like, scan and add to my... my controls. I want to control everything. Oh my god, alright. The sound this thing's making is... gonna be real annoying. <laughs> it's... It, every... slight adjustment... makes a noise. And, and that's... that... that... I can... I, I understand why, because... our sphere is... emitting CO2 to adjust itself and fly around. But boy, oh boy, do I not want it to be doing that. Okay. So now that we have a little bit more control inside the space station, we'll actually be able to kind of like look around, identify things, figure out what's going on inside the space station, or at least figure out what happened to the space station. Hopefully I'll be able to figure out a good bit on our own, but I think after they just kind of intro things off, 20, 30 minutes in, I feel like we're probably in for a ride. A long ride. RMS arm usage log. Uh, run authorization. Payload platform connect to station. William Stafford. Success. EFR connected to station power grid to be used in event of power failure. Okay. Well, that's good. Where am I right now? We're in ESO5. Can't ask her about this. But we got something online for everything else. Ooh. What, Sam, was that you? I think the backup batteries are struggling to cope. Hang on a sec. Uh, uh, I'm scared. I mean, Sam will be fine. <laughs> we will be fine. But I'm not happy with the situation. Switched off a few other systems seems to have helped. I don't know how much longer this will last. We need the EFR online. Don't worry, I'm on my way over there. But that you just happened to turn on a laptop too. What do we got? Sphere use. One for May, Sam. Cleared. Oh. Hey, I'm having to put experiments on hold over here for yet another round of EFR reactor tests. So you're cleared to use the connection spheres after all. 
They're configurable for external use. I've left firmware QRs in the airlock so you can scan and flash the sphere before you head outside. Enjoy. Message ends. Cool. Okay. Is there a difference between the spear I'm using now and the ones that we're going to have to use to go outside? I'm not fully sure. Let's look at the map. So we're still just going to head over to ESO-1. I obviously want to, like, explore everything here, but we have to take our time. Where's the station module for ESO-1? I should be reading the shit. We've got deck, starboard. Oh, cause this is that. That's to help us orient ourselves. What is this? Uh, this is gonna be disorienting. It's a good thing I don't get motion sick. Hey, look at that! They've got a stories untold copy right here. I see what you did there, developers. What's going on on this laptop? Message for home, please, Sam. Hey guys, it's like 4 a.m. with you, but we just went by Florida and I saw Jacksonville all lit up. It never gets old and, well, I just wanted to say hey. Things are great up here and work is going smoothly, although Houston keeps changing their minds on what they want me to focus on. I'm hoping I'll get more info soon, though. Still, it's all good. Message ends, Sam. <laughs> well, that's nice. I, I hope they're fine. Is that Josh? No, I, I have no idea the names of all the people, but we got we've got some some Texas swag here. I'm assuming this is stuff sent by his family, all strapped down, because yes, we are in fact in space. Yeah, fine. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> I like how the camera kind of blurs if I if I bump into things with this. So, we're trying to make our way... ...to Module 1. I guess Module 1's over there. Local Sphere. 